the top five best classes in black ops 4 guys these are the ultimate classes if you want to use overpowered weapons and completely drop people like crazy now one of these guns on the list is actually going to be a dlc weapon but the rest of them are going to be weapons that everyone should have within the game so no one needs to worry all right we're going to get straight into it what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another black ops 4 video where we're going to be doing the top five most overpowered classes in black ops 4 and some of these classes are really damn good now i do want to say that there is no specific order that these guns are in on the list these are just the top five classes that i think everybody should be using if you want to do good and guys if you could leave a comment down below letting me know which gun is your favorite weapon in black ops 4 no matter what it is i know a lot of people are probably going to say the maddox because i really see that that is becoming popular again it keeps dying it's that type of gun man it does good it does bad it does good and now it seems like it's doing great everyone seems to be using it again but i'm going to be giving you guys the top five best classes and if you guys are new around here and you want to support the channel make sure to subscribe with those notifications turned on i appreciate every single one of you all right let's get straight into it so at the number five spot which if this was in order this would have probably been the number two spot and that's going to be the spitfire now the spitfire i feel like it doesn't get as much love as it used to but it still obliterates people like crazy the spitfire Spitfire is amazing at close range, probably one of the best guns in the game at close range, and it's really good at medium range as well, and if you tap fire long range, it's actually good as well, so that's it guys, we're going to get into the class, the stim shot is going to be what you want to use for gear, scavenger and dead silence for the perks, definitely something you need to throw onto that, and then for the attachments, we're going to go ahead and throw on stock, extended mags, quick draw, and fast mags, the reason you want stock, I, I don't even know to be honest, you already move fast with the Spitfire, but stock just makes you move even faster when aiming down the sights which is something you want because a lot of people are going to be hip firing with this gun and also aiming in so it's really good to have extended mags because this gun runs out of bullets super fast quick draw just you could always be quicker than the enemies when you aim down sights and then fast mags you could always re reload quicker as well going down to number four this is the most recent weapon in the game and that is the grav if you guys played a game within the last couple of weeks well then you definitely have the grav so no worries there now this gun is really good this is the galil from black ops one it's amazing but we're we're not going to throw a suppressor onto this class whatsoever. What we're going to do for the gear is throw on the comsec device. So I always feel like when I'm running the grav, I don't really need to heal faster and I don't really need acoustic sensor. I know where the enemies are. So I throw on the comsec device and I just go through so many streaks and I just keep dropping them on people over and over again. And then obviously you want to throw on dead silence. I'm going to tell you guys right now, every single class has dead silence because you guys know me, man. It's, it's the one thing I need on every single weapon. Now for the actual attachments, we're going to go ahead and throw on five to this weapon in total the first one being reflex sight because i really don't like the iron sight they kind of ruined it the, the og galil had a really good one but this one just feels really weird then i'm going to put on grip one this gun does offer grip two but we're not going to put it on then we're going to go ahead and throw on long barrel as well as quick draw and stock without stock this gun just feels super weak it feels like you're getting melted by enemies because you can't move fast enough it's as heavy actually i think it's even heavier than the lmgs in this game it just makes no sense you can move really fast with lmgs but when you're holding the grav man this thing just feels really heavy and quick draw just because it's really slow at aiming down sights you kind of need to throw that on and long barrel obviously just if you get those longer shots a lot easier going on to another class guys we're going to be going on to the kn57 literally one of my favorite classes in all of black ops 4 is this class right here i've given it to you guys before i'm gonna give it to you guys again and uh we kind of changed it up a little bit instead of putting on my original like stim shot or my my comsec device or anything like that with this class i decided to go with acoustic sensor and it really does help a lot because the way i play with the kn is i kind of rush i kind of stay back and my play style is always changing so i can't really keep track of where the enemies are at all times so acoustic sensor really does help out with that scavenger is definitely a must on a class like this because you want to you're not going to die as much as you think you will so you're going to run out of bullets if you don't have scavenger you're definitely running out of bullets and then we're going to go ahead and throw on dead silence like i said every single class for the attachments these are i think like honestly i've played with so many different classes for the kn and these are the attachments you guys got to use rapid fire because it's an assault rifle why not let it shoot faster hybrid mags because that's always a two-in-one whenever you have the chance to put on hybrid mags throw it on you get extended mags with that and you also 
actually get to reload faster with that as well i love that attachment probably one of the best ones in the game then i'm going to put on a suppressor which does make your gun a little weaker at range but it doesn't matter because any enemies that are close to you are not going to hear where you're shooting from they're not going to see you on the mini map and it just does help a lot i feel like this gun doesn't really do that bad with suppressor compared to other weapons that you put, you put a suppressor on and they're just garbage like the gks for example put a suppressor on that thing and you're just getting 20 hit markers and then the last attachment is going to be stock again it's an assault rifle you want to be able to move really fast out of the way going to the number two spot this is the class that a lot of people are using and that is the maddox rfb now we're gonna go ahead and throw on three perks that is something i don't do too often but we're gonna go ahead and do it the first one is gonna be scavenger obviously the second one is going to be gung-ho so that you guys could actually shoot and stuff a lot faster than anyone else if you're running and sprinting uh, you could just shoot a lot faster than if you didn't have gung-ho on and the last one you guys could guess it I'm, i don't even have to say it you guys know and if you don't know then we got a problem because i have no idea what you guys were listening to during the last six minutes of the video going on to the attachments these are probably the best ones for the maddox and that is going to be elo sight definitely a must on this weapon you could run it without i actually don't mind the iron sights on the maddox but some people don't like it so if you don't like it don't run it and uh next we're off we're gonna go ahead and throw on quick draw one and quick draw two this gun just aims down sights in half a second and then for the last one we're gonna go ahead and put on stock i don't think i've ever given you guys this maddox class yet but this is one that i use a lot i sometimes run it without quick draw two but i notice with quick draw two it's just it's so much better dude you gotta throw it on you gotta use it with the quick draw two and going to the number one spot guys we're gonna be going on to the actual switchblade i did talk about this i did tell you guys it was going to be in the in this video and the switchblade is pretty good so what we're going to put on for this again is the same three actual perks so scavenger gung-ho and dead silence again we're going to put on stim shot same thing as the maddox class and then for the attachments we're going to put on elo rapid fire quick draw and hybrid hybrid like i said it's perfect you get two attachments in one quick draw you could aim down sight super fast rapid fire makes this gun shoot like crazy but you guys got to be aware there is no grip on this class so it does have a little kick to it make sure you guys are using it right and that's going to be it for the top five op classes in black ops 4 i've made a video like this one before and i used some different weapons and stuff i put the sog in and all that let me know which guns are your favorite guys and i'll be making op classes with all of them for the next top five video thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel if you're new around here i appreciate every single one of you who do that it's amazing you guys make my day leave a like on this video as well and again comment your favorite weapon you gotta do it guys all right thank you for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one. Peace.